guys. Uh, went to the world of wet pets today and picked up a few fish that I'd share. And they're actually down in Beaverton. I'm, I'm out in the Troutdale area, so it was a bit of a drive. Not too bad, but um, here's the first one. Kind of hard to see in the bag, but I'll see if I can get you guys better videos later. But this is the German iceberg. They're all babies. I bought some kind of smaller ones. I like growing them out. So this is the iceberg, I believe. They're so small and almost colorless. There you go. This guy, this is the star sapphire. Star sapphires are beautiful. I have a few others, but I'm gonna grow this one out and see if I get a male or a female. Either way, it's a win when it comes to star sapphires. Because I already have a male and female, so if it's a female, I'll just add it to my breeder group. But here's the insignis. Insignis, I think is what it's called. Kind of looks similar to like a Taiwan Reef or some of those other hats. They get more blue once they get bigger. But there he is. Yeah. Well, I'll put him in quarantine for a little bit and um, you know, give them some general cure and some medicated flakes, you know, clear them of anything they may have before uh, introducing them to the general population of my fish. Um, but excited about these guys. They're all fairly cheap. I think I paid like maybe 12 bucks a piece. I think the most expensive one was a star, star fire, which was like 18, which is still a pretty good deal for a star sapphire. Uh, but yeah, I'll keep you guys updated and, and I'll post videos of them as I grow them out and uh, just stay tuned. Thanks for watching.